There is a salt which is very popular these days. There is a misconception about what it is. I don't know whether the Himalayan rock salt is the best or the table salt that we have been consuming, Tata salt, is the best. So basically, out of the minerals present in our body, sodium is a very important mineral. But again, it has become an evil word in everyone's house. Sodium, sodium, blood pressure and all. So basically we are salty people. Our tears are also salty. Our blood is also salty. The amniotic fluid that lives in our fetuses is also saltier than salty water. So salt is very essential to the body, okay? So we do need salt, but which one and how much is different? A few years ago, Tata salt was introduced, but it was iodized, which was really a very good idea. Due to this, a lot of iodine deficiency was eliminated from India. Okay, but then the sodium issue came up. Due to sodium, we stopped using iodized salt. So we came up with alternative salts, like Himalayan, Celtic, the pink salt, black salt, rock salt that you are talking about. I am not saying they are bad. They are very very good. They are very less processed. They have a unique flavor. They have a lot of minerals. But they do not have iodine. Okay? And their sodium content is also very low. So this is the catch which people have to hear. Since the sodium content is low, their saltiness is also low. But the saltiness of our tongue has to be given. That is why our servants or tables or even we ourselves add more salt. So it is wrong here. We do use Himalayan salt but we use more. So our sodium content remains the same.